Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry, That Goat Metal Show. On today, still Saturday, January 18th, 2022. Yeah, we're just not that far away from... Oh, I'm sorry. It is June 19th, 2022. It's after midnight. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy Father's Day to all. Hope everybody's doing well uh, on this great weekend. Um, so far, so good. I just uh, came back from a... From a gathering with some friends of mine, uh, we had like a little pre-Father's Day uh, poker game, and just you know the guys hanging out and just having a good time, losing some money, I guess. So, but it was fun. I had, I had, I had a good time. I had a good time. A big shout out to Joey, and my boy, you know, for hosting that. Thanks a lot, man. It was well, well needed, and we all, you know, had a great time. All right, guys. All right, uh, things have been going up a little. Up and down now. First and foremost, let's uh, give some quick um, shout outs here to uh, my man Richie, the silent producer. Of course, Richie, the silent producer, is the undercover, the great, the man who gets me all the information, sends them to me, and he, and again, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for him to be just to come out and just do a nice little segment for me so you guys can meet Richie. Great guy, uh, always on point. And I appreciate everything you do, Rich. Thanks a lot, brother. Always. All right. All right. First and foremost, um, let's uh, give some birthday sh- uh, birthday shout outs. Two birthday shout outs. Uh, King Diamond recently just turned 66 on the 14th of June. All hail the King. 66 years old. Still going strong. Still making albums. Uh, there was, you know, talk at one point that he was talking about retiring. Not sure if he's planning on doing that anytime soon. I know he's doing something with Merciful Fate. I think he still has his album that's supposed to be coming out, his solo album. Um, and from what I've been, you know, witnessing as far as watching some of the shows that he's been doing, man, he's still going strong, man. He's doing great, doing great, man. All right, King Diamond, and uh, happy fifth is he's turned fifty-five, right? Fifty-five. Yeah, Glenn Benton. Glenn Benton's birthday was. Yes, uh, you know, uh, was, today's the 19th, so it was yesterday, the 18th. All right, Glenn Benton just turned 55 years old. All hail, Glenn, your almighty dear side. And, uh, you know, thanks a lot for uh, being an inspiration. Uh, you know, you're still a legend. I mean, you know, just, you know, you're still playing music, still going at it, man. Let's just, you know, hope things get better, man. And, uh, you know, looking forward to hearing some, some new stuff from you. Okay. And on the anniversary front, uh, which was also on King Diamond's birthday, uh, it was the 23rd anniversary of the release of Obituaries um, Slowly We Rock. Now, I've talked about it before on the, you know, on, on the channel, and um, I think I even put it that, you know, that is, to me, I still feel that that album is one of the most influential death metal albums ever. Uh, you know, it came out in 89. Uh, death metal at that point in the late late 80s was still, I think, was still in its infancy. You know, Death already had two albums out at that time. Um, you know, I think Morbid Angel had already released an album in 89. Um, you know, you had a few bands in there. Uh, already making albums, but to me, that obituary album, just hearing the first track and, and just how, how to me, they were just ahead of their time. It was, and the, the, they, 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 to me, they signified the feel and what, uh, the feel and the, 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 the presence of what death metal should be sounding like, you know, that horror movie feel. The evilness, the the thing that you know, like when you listen to it and, and you enjoy the music, you could almost it, it almost sounds like a movie at the same time, and uh, it, you know, Obituary always going to be up there, you know, as, as one of the great bands of all time, and um, you know, just hope that uh, things are going well with them, and you know, wish them continued success. All right. Um, also, in in other news. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne recently just had some surgery. Um, there hasn't been really no no updates. The only thing that we've been hearing about Ozzy is that uh, 
you know, it's going to really change his, his way. I think they were saying something about, uh, I think it was something about with his back. And, it, you know, it, it, it was, there might be a reoccurrence from one of the, uh, one of the other surgeries he had before when he was in, a, in an accident. Uh, but, you know, Ozzy's up there, man. Ozzy's, you know, he's somewhere in his mid-70s. And, um, you know, he's a stubborn dude, man. You know, he still wants to get out there. He still wants to do his stuff. And, um, unfortunately, you know, Ozzy, you know, I think at this point, man, um, not that you should slow down. But I think you should really like try to concentrate on just making sure you're okay, man. Live out the rest of these years the you know the right way, healthy, you know. And uh, let's just hope Ozzy's okay, man. I, you know, I really do. It'd be really fucked up to hear something uh, bad happen with Ozzy. Ozzy's been through so much. Uh, he's gone through everything that you would have thought that maybe some Ozzy would have been gone a long time ago, and he's survived this long. So, you know, let's see Ozzy keep going, man. I want to see him keep going. And um, also we had, you know, there was talks about with Bruce Dickerson from Maiden. Um, there was talks about him leaving Maiden. Um, I'm not, I, I mean, I don't know if this is just his way of maybe, you know, because I, I know Maiden has also been talking about doing some type of retirement and stuff like that. And um, I'm not sure if that has a lot to do with it. Um, I know Bruce Dickinson is supposed to be, uh, you know, doing a, a solo album, his next solo album, the Bruce Dickinson solo album, which I'm looking forward to. I like his solo albums. He does some great solo albums. Uh, but everything still, you know, I guess is up in the air. Uh, you know, and then it, it goes, shoots back to Maiden, where if this is what he's feeling... Uh, where is Maiden going to be at? Is Maiden going to stick to that thing where they're just going to keep going, you know? Or they're just going to let him walk and just replace him with another singer? Um, honestly, look, man, I mean, I know Bruce didn't start with Maiden. It was Paul Diano. But when Bruce took over, you know, the vocal duties for the band Number the Beast straight through, uh, he his voice just fit the way that band went it just it was perfect it was a perfect fit um when he left for those two you know the two albums in between of virtual x and you know those two albums um i i mean look I, I, some of the you know they're okay the songs are, some of the songs on those albums are all right but you know when you hear it doesn't, the, the vocals don't really do it for me the vocals don't really do it for me uh, I remember, you know, my, my, my old drummer, Frank Lasco, he was a big, big Maiden fan, and I remember when those albums came out, he was just so quick to get them, you know, he, he you know, he's just a Maiden fan, and he tried to, you know, let me listen to it, and I'm just like, it just, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, you know, it just doesn't, so, um, look, I would never want to tell, you know, somebody, you know, hey, you can't stop playing, you gotta stop playing music just because somebody is not gonna be there with you. You know, you want to keep going. But um, as Iron Maiden, I don't know. To me, it just, would, it just wouldn't be the same. <coughs> also, all right. And uh, also, I just finished looking at a cool video of uh, Jeff Bacora from uh, Possessed um, playing. Uh, he was up singing death metal with uh, the Cavalera Brothers. And, uh, yo, I'm just looking at that performance, man. It was fantastic, fantastic performance. And according to Jeff, I, uh, on stage, he was saying something to the effect that it was uh, a bucket list to perform with these guys. And it just, it was, it was phenomenal. They, they fucking played the hell out of that song. They did a great job playing it. It was, it was fantastic. Um, I'll try to leave the link in, in the description if you guys want to check out the video. And um, we'll go from there. But uh, there was something I wanted to talk about. Well, I know I had a segment before about you know, bands from around the world. Um, I've yet to, uh, you know, get any responses, I guess. You know, nobody really cares about that. But, you know, it'd be cool if you guys hear, you know, look, I think the last segment I had was, was Germany. But look, you know what? Give me a cool band uh, from uh, uh, some part of the world and a band that nobody really pays attention to. Send it to me. I'll check it out. You know, I play it. You know, hear it. See what I think about it. 
And you know, we just gotta give you know give these uh, bands from other countries this shot, you know, because you know, I mean, there's a lot of certain countries that are making their rounds now where they're being popular, like over in Thailand, and a lot of Asian countries are getting a lot of you know a lot of feedback now. Uh, but you know, there's probably some other little areas that are not getting their 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 just due, and you know, you want to probably try to give those guys a shot. Um, look, use my platform, man. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. It'd be cool to throw out your name and throw the band out there. Maybe you know, a couple of more people to, to add to your you know to your thing and make you grow. You know, those people might just go and share the hell out of your stuff, and it'd be really cool. All right. So um, I was all, I was doing a what if. Uh, I, I was at the poker game today, and we were discussing. Uh, you know, stuff with bands. Um, topic of Metallica came up, and um, I did. You know, I said, you know what? Maybe I'll do something like a what if. You know, we'll go back into history of certain bands, certain people, and, and, you know, and metal. And I said, what if? You know, what if Cliff Burton survived the crash in Sweden? Uh, my my thing would be is. How would that change the way Metallica is today, or you know, after Master of Puppets to today, would Cliff still be in the band? Would certain members of the band be in it if Cliff was still there? Uh, you know, it's a lot of that. That's why it's called "What If." I just say "What If" because it's like you know, you get to just do your own twist to it and to see how things might how, maybe how they would have ended up you know and i think that's pretty cool uh but give it a go i mean you know t t maybe fill it in tell me what you think it would have been i you know i have my little thing on it that maybe cliff uh wouldn't let the band steer clear of what they were about i mean they were still do you know they could still do good music but it was all still about the fans and making sure that the music sounded genuine to what metallica was and I think that, you know, Cliff would have, you know, drove that bus and, and who knows, not drove the bus, excuse me, and I say drive the bus, I'm saying as far as like the band evolving, you know, past that St. Anger and all that other bullshit they did, but we'll see, we'll see. Alright guys, well look, that's, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, again, I want to thank, uh, you know, the silent producer Richie Delgado again for always looking out. Uh, also, uh, you know, still got the merch. This is one of the new shirts, All right? Give it a go. Give it a check. You know, uh, I have some other shirts I'm going to be putting up. Um, go to uh, the Sith Lords merch on Facebook. Send me a message. We'll discuss deals because at the end of this month, uh, you know, due to inflation, you know, I, I can't pretty much, uh, you know, take in the free shipping no more. So, you know, we'll have to work something out. So just send me a message. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. All right, guys? So, look, that's pretty much it. Please, you know, uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to check out. You want me to go and review? Whatever you like. It's all cool. All right? So far, so good. All right? Hopefully, we get some new, uh, some new clips from some shows from Richie, and we'll just keep it going, man. I want to thank everybody again for supporting me, the new subscribers that we got. I want to thank you again. Uh, getting close to 200, man. At 200 subscribers, we'll get a free shirt. All right? That's it for now, guys. All right, this is Barry, That Goat Metal Show. Stay brutal.